Good afternoon and welcome back to another ironic introduction to another video. Today I have another Alliance War here. I think this one is number 8. I'll title it correctly, but I always forget when I go to record. Uh, this first fight I have a Brute Force Strike Counter Fury Medusa. Nothing crazy with Omega Red, pretty simple pathing. Uh, I go for my standard medium floor lights hit here and then drop my heavy to place the spores. And it doesn't matter that she's playing super passive. Here she hits the three furies so i'm gonna back off get a sweet parry heavy in and she's down i didn't hit her for a full combo rotation because i didn't want her to auto block it would have been kind of unfortunate uh so i just backed off when she had the three furies uh luckily for me omega red just blasts her so crazy fast that it doesn't even matter especially since I timed it where I did all four of these first fights with a 30% boost on. So I'm going to jump into a yellow jacket here. Same concept. He does have arc overload from the link up uh, in an ideal situation. Wouldn't have done it, but uh, I was at max energy and I wanted to use the 30% boost, you know, all in a good time. Arc overload's really not that scary. Uh, so you can see here just a couple of heavy lock-ins. He plays right into me really, really well. So I get a lot of spores up over the period of time uh, and just absolutely wreck through no problem. It's really nice being able to take that fight with that extra node, uh, you know when there's no health or attack boost to benefit like the arc overload is a nuisance but it's not really like game changing uh so i really really like that factor on the mini bosses allows you to push through with uh, more ease and convenience next up i have this mix master cork now i thought i was going to take the nick fury but between the time when i started those two fights and uh got to here someone had already taken the nick fury out so I'm going in on this Korg, nothing absolutely crazy here. I'm uh, going for like delayed combos here because he's not running max limber. So I don't have to worry about uh, like immediately timing in my combos. Both of these special ones, I'm going to opt to uh, just block so I don't trigger the indestructibility. Here, uh, I get my heavy locked in. He's almost down already and another special one. He's just throwing it like crazy, but it's really not that much chip damage. I don't mind. Uh, I'm going to do a heavy chain into a special two here and knock him out. Fight's pretty simple as long as you're mindful of the mix master of when you need to just back off and try to rebate a, a medium dash in so you can get a parry. Uh, here, next, I jump into clairvoyant. Uh, I just had like a brief pause trying to figure out uh, how I was approaching it. So I jump into this Clairvoyant, nothing crazy here as well, pretty simple, it's a burn of Might Node, I think is like the major thing. Uh, Omega Red works really, really well for her because unlike other champions uh, who, you know, get a little bit of bleed damage, you know, not a lot, or are bleed immune and so are giving her power, Omega Red just has the bleed resistance. Uh, so it actually benefits me every time she throws the special one, uh, and I'm not too worried about EMP modification. Uh, from the specials and you know gaining buffs because you know I'm gonna be having a lot of sustain and just crazy burst damage and you can see here uh, a combo a heavy and then another combo completely deleted uh, next up is this Hulk Buster same concept uh, I actually swapped lanes with someone else because of the chitness thorns here uh, so someone else took my lane like normal I go into this Hulk Buster uh, just because he procs those bleeds on hit and this person didn't really have like a good shock immune champion as well. I know that with willpower the shocks really don't do a lot to me plus I can just absolutely obliterate the Hulk Buster so I'm not too worried. It's actually the fight after this one, the guillotine, tw uh, sorry the warlock that I'm a little concerned about. I'm pretty confident Omega Red can handle the fight. Um, but I know it's going to be a long one as well. Now, normally you don't want to bring Omega Red into Warlock um, for a lot of reasons, but the main one being that when you run Willpower, uh, you're going to be healing, and you're, that's going to cause you to degen. Uh, you also don't have a whole lot of buff actives, uh, so your infections are going to be really, really long, and that means shocks from his SP1s. So my goal here is to push him to an SP2 whenever possible, lock, lock in my spores as much as possible, not getting that heavy lock in right away, really screwed me I can't hit into his block the way I normally like to because of explosive personality this is a really bad matchup but essentially what I'm trying to do is lock the spores in when I can force block causing him to hit into me so I can 
uh, bait out a special too because the armor break will give me a little bit of healing uh, and it's not really something I'm worried about whereas the special one will trigger an incinerate or a shock here he goes heavy I don't mind standing close to him as long as I can immediately punish this works out really really well in my favor you can see here he goes straight into another special two I do take a little bit of chip damage but so far the fight's going exactly how I want it to essentially it's long it's frustrating but uh, it's really really reasonable because he's not awakened no DJ damage so from here, I just need to push him into a special two as much as possible. Uh, you can see here, I'm countering the heavies pretty well. His heavy is incredibly quick, so there is a little bit of risk, and I've got him at a lot of armor ups, so explosive personality is slowly becoming a problem. Uh, but you can see here, when you stand in the corner with him, uh, he heavies. I don't know what happened there, but he parried me after the heavy. He just recovered insanely fast. Then I triggered the explosive personality. So between that and then the punishment from the parry, uh, my life total is really, really low. Here I need to get a really good combo in, push him up to the special two. That works well. My block didn't trigger. Um, it happened. I don't know if I was too slow. I don't know if it was a failed input. There's really no excuse. Uh, the point is it didn't trigger and that ended the fight. I really, really feel like I had that fight in my hands until he parried me from the heavy. Maybe I was too slow. It just seemed like crazy fast recovery time to me. Um, I don't know. It just happened sometimes. I must have been too slow on the draw, uh, but it did end up getting me killed. It ended up causing me to lose the fight control uh, and kind of the momentum that I had going, and it was very unfortunate. So I'm going to bring in Red Guardian. At this stage, we actually know we're confident in the win, so I'm just trying to get through my path to push up to the next few fights. Uh, just because I want to conserve as many resources as possible. Red Guardian is rank 4, and I think I have him at like SIG 100. Not the world's greatest, but it's pretty good. You can see here, I'm trying to bait out a special 2, and he was being a little stingy, but uh, he does throw it before he ends up cornering me, and that works out okay for me. Uh, heavy, and then counter, nothing crazy. Uh, this time I'm going to be even more conservative, not even hitting into his block at all, uh, because Red Guardian has pretty good block proficiency, and I'm not too worried... Uh, about the damage output on this fight since he started off so low uh, but you can see here he's at two percent and i finally get him down i did take a good amount of red guardian i do want to rank five him if i'm going to be using him for synergies in war it'll give me a little more uh, use case out of him and more security if i'm going to use him uh, and then the next fight i come in on is the rage iron man infinity war now um, I asked someone else to move down towards guillotine 2099, so I felt kind of responsible for taking this fight uh, Just to make sure it opened up the Nick and the Nova Because uh, the Iron Man Infinity War we didn't really have the world's greatest options for so I'm gonna heal up revive and heal up a bit I'm pretty confident I can do this without getting up to full plus I'm not too worried about dying because if I make a mistake uh, my alliance does have the win secured, so I'd rather be more conservative on the items rather than aggressive. This guy uh, is running like two points in limber, with threw, which threw me off a little bit on the timing, but you can see here, essentially what I'm doing is I'm locking in my spores, and then I'm backing off. Not even going for any hits, and then I'm going to relock in the spores, and then back off. Parries, let the stuns do the work, stay next to him for proximity. Uh, and that's it. That's the way I play this fight. It's the least amount of hits. I'm not concerned about getting extra hits in. I don't want to bring him to four armor ups. I don't want him to auto block and I don't want to get parried. Uh, and this kind of a play style works really, really well. You can bait his heavies and counter. Uh, it doesn't really matter if you get a ton of spores up because of rage anyways. So you're not going to get crazy amount of damage in that way anyways. I dropped my SP too. So the fight is almost over do take both of these to the face i just felt like that was the safe way so i'm going to switch uh and drop the degens and you can see here i just make a really big mistake dashing in to punish the heavy uh really no excuse for that i just slipped my mind like i had a really good mantra going the whole fight heavy only heavy only heavy only there uh, just like instinct took over and I dashed into punish and auto block parry very unfortunate because I had him at 7% uh, but I am going to just bring in red guardian he's only at 12,000 health rage yeah not that big of a deal I don't even feel like I need to heal uh, just you know finishing him off so here same mantra with red guardian uh i'm just gonna you know re-parry and drop heavies essentially until he's good here i threw a heavy right away uh and i realized my mistake on why that didn't do any damage because he's got like a crazy amount of armor ups 
Uh, so you can see here, I finally do get like a real amount of damage and now that all those armor offs have dropped off, uh, he throws a special two, which is really, really good for me. Uh, I'm gonna find my opening here and just very slowly work my way through him. I drop my SP1 here thinking it would get me more damage. In hindsight, just a regular heavy would have been sufficient, uh, but that's okay. I didn't know what the damage output was there, so uh, I figured I might as well throw it. I thought it was gonna end the fight actually, but turns out it was way weaker than I thought. Um, and that's the war. We do end up winning this war. They skipped a bunch of sections in all three of our battle groups. Um, and we are hoping the next three wars push really, really well and we can find ourselves in plat three. So we'll see. We'll see, we'll see, we'll see. As always, I hope you all enjoyed and I'll talk to you later. Peace.